All right, today I got myself a full face helmet. I want to custom paint. The customer wanted an American flag over the helmet, so I suggest that they go ahead and buy a white helmet. The white basically acts as a base coat for all the other colors on top. This is the image that the customer wanted for the back side of the helmet. So go ahead and make it look kind of rustic. I'll go ahead and cover the whole thing in a dusting of black. And then I'll take a red scotch bright and scratch it. Red's coarser than the gray, and I want it to have a nice harsh cut line to kind of show it from a distance that it's got scratches in it, like what you see here. All right, right here, I went ahead and added some red, give it a little halo around the image on the back. So when I pinstripe it, the black pinstripe kind of stands out against that red glow. All right, when you're doing a lot of cutting of images and everything out, sometimes you just forget to cut everything out. And as you can see here, I had a mess up. So I had to touch this up. And because I was trying to like hurry up a step, I didn't completely tape it off. As you can see right here, I got overspray on top of my white. So now I gotta go ahead and fix that and clean that up. So take the extra time and completely tape everything off because overspray will get everywhere. The carbon trace just basically gives me a guide for where to put all my pinstriping. After some of the outlines, go ahead and do some airbrushing. I'm not done with that skeleton yet, but I do kind of jump around the helmet a little bit and do a little bit here, a little bit there. Let one area dry while I work on another side of it. After I lay down the gold leaf, then I come back in with the details, then I actually finish off the skeleton and it looks pretty good.
I got so much going on with all these layers and gold leaf on top of pinstriping and all that, I just went ahead and stopped and decided to put a coat of clear on everything to kind of seal it all in. And then I'll come back afterwards and apply the pinstriping around that lettering right there. I know I'm not wearing a mask, but I should be. And I usually do, but I'm trying to make a video, so I thought, you know, you know I'm gonna talk during it, and I just didn't do that. Good coat of clear will seal up all the gold leaf, and we'll kind of level out all that pinstriping I did, so it'll be nice and smooth. So I'll put a final coat of clear, I'll be to look like a bowling ball, so it'll be nice and smooth and slick. And being that it's all smooth, when I lay down these last little bits of pinstriping, there's no bump edge underneath that I'm covering up, so it goes on smooth. So when I put my final coat of clear on, it'll just flow out and be smooth as glass. Sometimes I go ahead and just take a razor blade to the edge because um, that clear gets kind of thick around the edges where the weather stripping is. Well, there you go. Another job done. Tell me what you think in the comments. Like what you see. Subscribe. Got any questions, just ask away. I'll take requests. Sure, why not? Anyway, have a good day.